Hey everybody, it's Audra from Living Crafted and Cozy. Hey, today's episode, we have a fall decorate with me and I can't wait to share with you guys some of my finds that I've got for this year for the fall. With that, let's get started. So some of you guys might remember from my last video in the flea market haul that we did, these adorable um, fabric pumpkins that we got with a little cinnamon stick on top. I just throw them up on a shelf with my grateful Dollar Tree sign, the truck with the pumpkins, and threw in a pine cone and, and a green one to match the green pot. I think they look so cute there. So here on top of my cabinets is another great spot that I can throw up some decorations on the holidays or just year round and just display some kind of like old and rustic and some fun things that I usually find flea markets or garage sales wherever I find them. I like a little bit of a farmhouse country look in here too. Um, so I picked up this great copper framed rooster picture at a flea market. Um, and I think it looks great in this corner. I've got a lot of room over here, so I need to cover up this wall. Um, the same thing with the, the cow cutting board. Um, and then we have some Dollar Tree pieces mixed in, the pumpkin with the P on it. Um, and that's my flea market haul pumpkin from last video, the, the really dark brown pumpkin. I think it looks fantastic up here. It really brings some depth. And then I have some of the felt leaves from Dollar Tree. Like I said, we need some bigger pieces to fill up this wall and it throws in some color here. It looks really, really nice. And uh, $1.25, you can't beat it. And another Dollar Tree sign and just some of my other chickens and roosters and pumpkins, a little bit of fall leaves and we're ready to go. So here's my little coffee ledge nook that we have. Um, I usually keep some decorations and sometimes I'll keep like some vitamins or different things up here. But for the fall, for Christmas, it's always going to be my coffee cups. <laughs> so we always try and keep like the spice and gold colors here. And like I said, following along with the chicken and rooster theme here, I always like to get some of those cups. They look so cute. I just throw up a couple of fall leaves and some pine cones and it looks pretty great to me. Okay, so come and decorate with me over in this corner here. Here. I'm going to just clean off my shelf over here. This was my curb rescue. And we found this a couple years ago at our old apartments and kept it ever since. So this sign is the inspiration for this whole area. Um, so I went ahead and threw up my two tier tray that we got at our flea market haul from last episode and my acorn thankful Dollar Tree sign. I think it looks so cute. Big stuff in the back. My copper barware mule. side my pumpkin that matches the sign of course my thrifted salt and pepper shaker with the copper lid and a little flower bottom tray I have um, a candle to put out here a harvest candle I think this is my target candle oh my god it smells so good autumn harvest that's gonna go on the bottom right there and I have a pair to put out I want to kind of fill in the back but the pair is not tall enough so I'm using a candle holder like a candle top from another candle and I'm just gonna set the pair on top of that for some height and dimension there um, here goes my other matching velvet pumpkin right on the side there throw in a pine cone and my creamer for the matching 
copper barware set, some more flowers, and that's all set. And to finish off the look, I'm just throwing up a couple of other velvet pumpkins that go good with this Dollar Tree sign that I have yet to fix, and another little flower, and I think the top shelf looks great and is ready to go. So for this middle shelf, I was trying to figure out a way how to keep my um, my greenery photo up here of all the really cute little outdoor greenery herbs and different things. This was a flea market find too. And I got to thinking, what if I put this Dollar Tree leaf form in here and it fit perfectly in the frame? I think it looks good for fall. I just scattered some fall leaves in front of it and voila, we're all ready to go. So for this bottom shelf, I just took two baskets of a three-piece set that I got at a flea market a few years back. It was a steel. It's a little beat up looking, you can see, but it's not too bad. It still looks great, and it fills up this bottom space really good. I just threw the ivory jack-o-lantern we got at our last flea market haul on the top, and it gives it that layered basket look and fills up that bottom shelf so nicely. This is our table that we're keeping around for a while until our kids get a little older. It fits this area so perfectly. It's beat up, but we just keep it covered. And the kids eat here, they do their crafts here. As you can see, we got a little bit of paint that we need to scratch off. No big, we keep it covered, so it looks pretty decent here. So I just put my old fall tablecloth up here, the spice color which looks really nice with some leaves. Mm. I told you I had bought some greenery to match the sign over there. Well, this is it. I just put it in that third pumpkin basket and voila, set it on the table and that's it. Okay, so over to the living room, I went ahead and picked up this cute little plaid scarf to give me a cozy, fall feeling to cover my beat up mantle which I will be redoing in an upcoming episode. So just spread that out. It looks really cute, really dreamy. And then I picked up my favorite fall piece, maybe one of my favorite fall pieces. <laughs> piece I picked up at a church bargain sale when we first moved here to Florida, right after we got married. And I've used it every year, every year since. I really, really like this piece. I just throw an old cinnamon broom from Dollar Tree right in the corner. It smells and looks amazing. Okay, so I'm throwing my Dollar Tree welcome pumpkin over here on the other side of my picture. And my candle stand that has been colored upon by my daughter. Lots of stuff in this house has. <laughs> If anyone wants to know a good fall hack, um, whatever you got, like jack-o'-lanterns or whatever, most of them can just be turned around and used as pumpkins. So you can keep your decor and just flip them around from, uh, you know, from one month to the next. So I'm gonna put a few colorful large leaves up on my candle stand here, place my pumpkin. And just get that flower there. Not wanting to cooperate. <laughs> okay, that's good. All right, we'll put up another pumpkin here. And my cute little acorn candle from Dollar Tree. My kids painted this little craft from Dollar Tree too. It's just a little stone that says Harvest Blessings. I'm going to put it right up there and just throw in a couple of Dollar Tree leafy garlands just to bring that whole look together. Throw in some color, some outdoors, and some cozy in there. And that's the top of my mantle. It's just kind of simple. Okay, so here down at the bottom of the mantle, you guys will see my daughter has completely went Picasso all over my mantle and has scribbled and chalked and on this faux chalk it's really hard to get anything out so we are going to have to just paint over it so a mantle redo upcycle will be coming shortly um 
But anyways, I wanted to share a mom hack that I've learned if, uh, with having your kids play with your decorations on the top of the mantle. You can always just throw out a few cheap decorations for the bottom for them to play with. Um, I started with this little wood fence that I picked up somewhere a few years back. And then I threw in this really big, cute felt Dollar Tree pumpkin. I love that so much. Um, I threw in some of my candlesticks from the flea market haul in the last episode and the pumpkin or the, excuse me, the apples, the little fabric apples. So got those in there. And then I have like a little wood slice. And then I cut up these cute little um, forest animal cutouts for the kids to kind of sit here and play with. And it just makes such a cute little homey scene for them. You know, it's so cute. Look at that little raccoon and the bear. And then just another like little Dollar Tree foam pumpkin. And the thing is, what's so great about it, nobody cares. If, if anything happens to this stuff, no one cares. It's just all fake and there's no glass or anything. So just throw in a couple of leaves and a couple of pine cones and you'll be all set to go. Your kids will play and have fun and you're not going to be pulling your hair out because they're getting into all of your stuff, <laughs> your treasured and valued stuff that you'd like to use for years to come. My little owl is so cute. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for coming along for the decorate with me. I've got a lot more videos planned for you. Um, some crafting for the fall, for Halloween, and Christmas is coming up before we know it. So I'm going to have a lot more content coming out. Thanks for decorating with me today. Talk to you later.